Hi, my name's Chris DeSellis. At The Avenue Real Estate, we've helped hundreds of downsizers achieve their property goals. But we do also understand that this is a difficult stage in your life. Like most things, if you plan well and you have the right team of people around you, what can seem to be a daunting task can become one that's enjoyable. That's why we've partnered with a team of experts to help you achieve your property goals. Yeah, um, we certainly do have some clients who've never really uh, had a big investment to plan before. They've lived off the age pension perhaps, paid off the mortgage of course in the past, but never really had to make uh, big decisions mm -hmm. about uh, this lump of money that yep. they've now got. And often that has implications for, for the age pension entitlements that they may have as well. Um, and some of them worry about that and think, well, I'm gonna lose certain benefits. Uh, and also on the other hand, they might see a term deposit down at the bank as the only safe option. Uh, and so that can also be a confronting thing of, and a confusing thing at a time when interest rates are really low and not offering much there. So they're looking for where's the income going to come from? Um, and they're also confused, perhaps they've got other family members in their ear as well. How much should I uh, gift perhaps? Um, what, how do the rules work there? So there can be a bit of a, a sense of confusion. Uh, and so we can help uh, clear all that um, and give them some clear uh, choices that they can uh, take um, without a lot of risk or a lot of fear involved. In terms of lump sum investments, there are a number of options. The government brought in a couple of years ago the downsizer contribution, which was a way that you could put up to 300,000 into super. Uh, and you, there are certain rules uh, around that, so be careful when that happens. You, you have to be over 65 under current rules as we speak. Um, you have to have owned the property for at least 10 years. You have to put the money in within 90 days of settlement. So there's certain rules that you have to make sure that you, you um, abide by with that. But that can be an attractive way of sheltering because we know super is tax free. Um, it can be a very easy way to diversify your money and get a decent return and an income to, for what you need to live. And there's flexibility with that too. So if you need lump sums later back out of that for things like travel or aged care, you can do so. The other tack that some clients can make with a big lump sum when they uh, get from a downsize is they choose to gift to the children. Uh, there was a Four Corners story recently which ran on the affordability issue. So a lot of the younger generations of course are, are struggling to get into the market. So um, it may be a valid choice in the family uh, to look at various options there. Uh, one option that's uh, interesting is granny flats where, where if you're prepared to live with your children, uh, adult children, longer term. Um, do talk to Centrelink uh, if you are considering that um, in terms of the exemption rules there are very complex. Uh, but that's one path, or you may be able to afford to gift large amounts to your children with that lump sum. Centrelink will count that gift for five years. And so you may not get any age pension for the following five years, but then potentially after that point in time you may. So these are all valid choices that people have, um, but they need to maintain enough investments to be confident that to meet their own needs and to meet future needs like aged care costs and health costs which may escalate. Yeah, if they're confident with that property and, and that transaction and, and they're worried about a, a rising market particularly and they want to buy that first, that can still work. Um, uh, often it's about getting a bridging loan, uh, that can be a way, or potentially drawing in part from uh, other investments they may have. Uh, they may use their super, draw down on that uh, to help fund that purchase. Uh, and knowing that when they do sell, they can utilise things like the downsizer rule uh, to be able to put money back into super later on. Uh, but we often will tell people to go and see specialists that can help you in those spaces. So go and see a mortgage broker if you are looking at potentially trying to get a loan. Uh, loan finance is generally at lower rates at this point 
uh, than say the average super returns are producing. So if you can obtain finance first, that can be preferable over drawing down on, on your super. Um, and we sometimes encourage people to look, particularly if they're uh, buying in a place that they're not really familiar with, to perhaps engage the services of a buyer's agent as well, who may have expertise in that area and make that whole process a lot easier as well. Yeah, sure. I, I think like anything in life, if you can plan early, um, it, that's a good start. Um, you don't need to have uh, spreadsheets and so on, but just to, uh, on a piece of paper, maybe work through what your goals are, what you'd really like to do and achieve in life and, and how that then brings it back to crunching the numbers. Now, of course, good people can help with that. So seeing a specialist in this space can be very helpful. Uh, and talk to trusted others as well, perhaps in your circles and family as well. Uh, so plan early, uh, I think can be very um, helpful and uh, to, uh, as I said, do, do a basic um, assessment of the numbers um, to see what's viable. Uh, and you may find that that takes some of the pressure off, some of the fear factor away 